Welcome to Savage Kitchen. We're doing a tasting today, and these are always my favorite. It's been a little while since we've done one. Today, we have something very, very unique and something I am very excited about. Whiskey. That's clear, that is not moonshine. So, if you are familiar with the Whiskey Tribe on YouTube, uh, these guys, first of all, are hilarious and quite knowledgeable about all things whiskey. And I think it was last year or the year before, they actually started their own distillery, which was crowdfunded through their YouTube audience, which is incredible. They have been sourcing their whiskey from a company called MGP, which uh, MGP, by the way, is the source of many familiar brands' whiskeys. For example, uh, Bullet, High West, Redemption, uh, Angel's Envy. There's quite a few more, uh, but it's whiskey brands that you know they are uh, found pretty much anywhere and are delicious. The issue arose, they apparently ordered eight, I think, bottles, I'm sorry, eight barrels of whiskey and three of them just did not taste right. I imagine that's an awfully big investment to lose, three entire barrels of 15-year-old whiskey. So instead of throw it away, they decided to put it through the still again, which is awesome. I particularly enjoy the fuck around and find out method of doing anything. I'm gonna link to their video that explains the process in detail. They actually document how it went. They do their own tastings. But as soon as it became available, I was like, I have to have it. I, I have to try this. Um, and I'm, I'm truly curious. I also think it's interesting that there is some, at least some cognitive disconnect right between the way it looks and the way it's supposed to taste or a whiskey typically tastes. So I'm curious. So let's, let's get right into it. I need a knife. Now, one of the reasons I, I like this is because it really does make one think about what is in what you're drinking. Like what is whiskey? What is vodka? What is gin? What are the differences between these things? Because they're all distilled spirits, right? And when it comes to whiskey, the difference has a lot to do with the aging process because otherwise moonshine isn't really all that different from vodka. Vodka is any uh, spirit distilled from any carbohydrate, from uh, grains to potatoes to, uh, there's even this new brand out of Alaska that does it from sugar cane. So when it comes to whiskey, it is typically a grain distillate but then it is aged and that's where the difference lies. But hold on, let's open this up and smell it. Oh, it's a good sound. Woo, whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Like, so the very first whiff did not smell at all like whiskey to me. It was, you know, like most bottles you open, you're hit in the face with ethanol right away. It smells sweet. I don't necessarily know that it smells like, uh, it, it's missing the woodsy, oaky sense. Mm, all right. So, and let's, before I pour. So it's called Phoenix from Magnificent Beasts. They call their viewers Magnificent Bastards, which I love. Um, it is, 46 alcohol by volume, 92 proof, 15 year old whiskey. They can call it 15 year old whiskey because this was aged in barrels for 15 years, even though it went through a secondary process after that aging. Um, hmm. All right, let's try it out. Might've got a little generous on the pour, whatever. You want some Lucy? Yeah. Settle down. All right. Ooh, whoa. That's weird. <laughs> That's not bad. It's strange. Uh, you ever, okay. <laughs> you ever dream have a dream wake up in the morning kind of remember it and then you kind of get kicked out of it and then like later in the day you'll remember another part and be back in the dream that's kind of what this is like like you taste it you're like oh it's whiskey and then you keep tasting it, you're like whoa, whoa, whoa that's not whiskey and then all of a sudden you're like oh no wait that's whiskey 
That's kind of what this reminds me of. Yeah, it feels a little schizophrenic to me. All right. To sm I, the smell is sweeter than the taste. The taste is good. Um, it just, it's so, it has more bite than the, the whiskeys I typically drink neat. And by the way, I prefer bourbon. I am a bourbon drinker. Bourbons tend to be a little bit sweeter, a little more mellow. They are exclusively aged in brand new charred American oak. Um, and that obviously affects the flavor of it and the mouthfeel. And so this, having been redistilled, and I think if I remember correctly from their original video, the original uh, whiskey was aged in used American oak, which is going to change. I mean, it's, it was not a bourbon. It was a whiskey. Uh, so it is going to have a slightly different flavor. Hmm. Yeah, this has more, more of a... A bite, but is still super smooth. Huh. It tastes a little bit like popcorn, like kettle corn. Uh, that has that sweet. It's not necessarily, God, maybe it is a little salty. I think that might be the closest thing I can relate this to. Kettle corn has that corn flavor and then a distinct sweetness to it, the caramel, and then a little bit of salt. Uh, and that kind of, if I had to simplify this the most, I think that's where I'd go with this. To smell it, that's not what I would say. It smells fruitier than that. Damn, and it's got a burn. Like even though it's smooth, <laughs> once we get down here, it's definitely got a burn. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so really what makes this any different than a vodka, right? Aside from the fact that it doesn't taste like garbage. Actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Vodka doesn't taste like garbage. Vodka doesn't really taste like much of anything, right? There's the difference. And I think having been a vodka drinker for a lot of my life, I, I have no problem with vodka. Um, but there's, to me, vodka, there's a different, there's a different enjoyment to that. Vodka, when I think of vodka, I think, I think of something very light. The mouthfeel on vodka is very different. The mouthfeel on this, it's kind of thick and that's that sweetness, you know, but what's interesting is even though it has that thick mouthfeel and it is sweet, it's, there's an incongruence there that's interesting because of the way the mouth feels, I would expect it to taste sweeter than it does. Does that make any sort of sense? I don't know. Um, it's just, but that's definitely what it is for me. I've seen some people comparing this to gin. And I honestly, aside from the color, I don't get it. I, if I were to taste this blindfolded, I would go immediately to whiskey, but I would say weird. Um, it is lacking the botanical notes that you typically find in gin. All right, so let's talk about the differences between our distilled spirits, right? There are a lot of differences in process, in aging, and in what goes into them. But at the end of the day, they are all distilled from some sort of food source, right? So tequila and mezcal, are uh, distillates of agave plants. Tequila, specifically Blue Weber agaves. Rum is uh, distilled from sugarcane, molasses, and depending on the aging process there, that will change your rums, depending on the distillation process and when they are separating out molasses, that changes things. Uh, whiskey is typically a grain, so uh, corn, wheat, barley, rye, and then after it goes through its distillation process, it's rested in barrels. And so that time and whatever type of wood it's exposed to, that's what really turns it into a whiskey. Vodka is just everything and anything. <laughs> it's just distilled down to its purest form. Vodka, theoretically, not the flavored stuff, is neutral in flavor. It is a neutral spirit. So when you think of moonshine and then you think of vodka, technically they're the same, they're the, the same thing. Like moonshine is a vodka because it hasn't been rested yet. It hasn't been aged yet. It hasn't had that exposure to wood. This is particularly interesting because it has been rested. It is aged. It has been exposed to wood. And then it was redistilled. It was like scrubbing all the wood out. So what you're left with 
is interesting. It does have some of the characteristics of whiskey. And it has like these, like I said, talking about a dream, it's like a hint of something. You're like, ooh, it's almost there. I wish I could grab it. But it's not quite there. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to need to just drink more of this, basically. Hmm. It's definitely got a... It's a little spicy. So I would say notes on this for me, sweet, but like kettle corn sweet, popcorn. So corn, caramel, a little bit of salt, um, a little bit spicy. I am missing the flavors I usually enjoy in whiskey of, of oak, of vanilla, of cherry. Um, to smell it, I don't taste these things, but to smell it, it smells fruity. And by fruity, I mean like floral fruity, like apples, like apples, pears, like when you're by like a, a tree in bloom, like apple blossom, pear blossom. But I don't necessarily get those flavors when I taste it. Wow, super interesting. Not that I wouldn't mix this into something, I absolutely would, but it's such a unique bottle that I think this is gonna be the, you gotta try this when people come over um, and I want them to, <laughs> this is a thing. If you're friends with me and you come into the kitchen, it really is an episode of like, oh my God, you got to try this. Oh, you got to try this. This is going to be one of those bottles. All right. It's, uh, what I've seen online has been, some people like it and some people absolutely hate it. I was a little concerned with the reviews I read that hated it. I was like, oh, how are we going to feel? I like it. I didn't get any of the, I read one guy said it tasted like it came out of an old gym shoe. Jesus Christ, dude. Settle down. What are your gym? <laughs> Is this what your gym shoes taste like? Damn. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get that at all. This does taste, it tastes good. It's interesting. If you are a whiskey lover and you love trying different things, I would try and get your hands on a bottle. There's not a lot of them. Um, I don't know if there are plans to continue making these. These went on sale and like sold out pretty immediately. Um, they did a second release, which I think also sold out. I don't know if there's a third release coming. It's definitely worth keeping up with those guys to see. Uh, very interesting offering from Crowded Barrel, the Whiskey Tribe. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do next. All right, until next time, cheers, friends. Lucille, what are you doing, huh?